This is the Business of Leadership Series Minute with your host, the best-selling author of Don't Buy a Duck and founder of MarketingStrategyHero.com, Derek Champagne. I'm excited about our guest today. I got to see him for the first time. I've heard of him and read his material for years, but I got to see him at the Scale Up Conference in Anaheim last month. Great conference, great focus on customer service, great focus on uh, human connection. Uh, we've got John DeJulius with us today. He's the author on how to provide a world-class customer experience. He's an international consultant, best-selling author of two books, works with companies like the Ritz-Carlton, Lexus, Starbucks, Nordstrom, Nestle, Chick-fil-A, Marriott Hotel, Cheesecake Factory, Progressive, Insurance, Harley-Davidson, State Farm, and many more. John doesn't just talk about it, he lives it. He's a very successful entrepreneur. He's got a couple of companies. One is uh, John Roberts Spa, which is a chain of upscale Cleveland locations, repeatedly named top 20 salons in America. And he's got the DeJulis Group. It's a consulting firm focused on changing the world by creating a, a customer service revolution. And I'm excited about his, his newer book, The Relationship Economy, Building Stronger Customer Connections in the Digital Age. John, thanks for being with us today. Thank you, Derek. Pleasure to be here. Any other advice for leaders? Because, you know, we come from a good place. We we want to motivate our teams, but I think we can get in our own way too. I love this advice that you're giving about shutting up and listening and focusing. Well, and that's great. And, and it leads me to, uh, um, you know, some really good leadership things. So, so what we've done, we better know the Ford of our employees, our direct reports. And I've been guilty of this, you know, it, it, we'll, uh, we'll do an exercise in our company and, you know, for other clients and we'll give each leader a list of their direct reports, people that, you know, they oversee. And then we'll say, all right, Derek, you got to fill out um, your 12 employees that report directly to you, they're Ford. And the O doesn't count because you know where they work, right? Mm -hmm. And I've seen this and I personally have struggled with doing it on my own where, you know, um, you know, my assistant, she's been my assistant for three years, right? And she's married, but God, I don't remember her husband's name or, you know, she has a kid. I, I don't know if it's a girl or a boy. I mean, that's horrible, right? right. I mean, that's horrible. Um, and, and, you know, there's, there's uh, another thing about, you know, energy givers and energy suckers, right? And, mm. and you know, as leaders, we, you know, we got to be energy givers. So, so some, some characteristics of that is that you raise the confidence of everyone that you come in contact with. You know, you're constantly showing gratitude and thanks and giving other people the credit. Um, the energy in that room picks up when you walk in, it doesn't, ah, um, you know, you're there for others when they're struggling or going through hard times, you know, your, your, your employees, biggest cheerleaders, you find out what their goals are and you help them, even if it's outside of the company or it's, it's a different career someday. Um, and you're walk through a fire, uh, for those on your team. If you're willing to do that, they will do that for you. Derek Champagne here. I want to connect with you if you're listening to the Business Leadership Series. We can connect on LinkedIn or send me a message at Derek at DerekChampagne.com. I look forward to connecting.